Hello, beautiful Capricorns. How are you? We're here with a love reading. Past, present, and future energies for love for Capricorn. Sun, moon, and rising. Let's see what the overall energy in the recent past has been. Let's see. We're going to pull three cards for each. Past, present, future. Welcome, everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. Thank you for stopping by. Okay, so let's see what we have. Ace of Coins. Nice. Sagittarius. Earth sign energy. Planting a seed. Starting something. What's going on? I love it. Temperance. Temperance is Sagittarius energy. It's often uh, coming back together with somebody, balancing things out. It's very patient energy. And look at this. My gosh. Strength card. Leo energy. Very powerful energy. That is beautiful. That is a beautiful start. You have two major arcanas here. This is a big deal. Let's see what the current energy is for our Capricorn friends. Okay. Oh, the tower card. Ouch. Whew. Okay. So the tower card can mean meeting somebody that changes your life and alters the whole foundation. On the other hand, it can be the lack of a foundation coming, bringing the tower moment down. So we'll see. The Six of Wands. I like the Tower sometimes. Sometimes it's a really great card because to get to your happiness, you need to deal with it. Four of Wands. Look at this. This is really beautiful. This, I mean, so far, this is a gorgeous reading. Okay, so we have Six of Wands. We have Victory. Four of Wands is buying a new home, getting married. This is very Twin Flame. You might meet a Twin Flame or you might meet your a soulmate or a partner very unexpectedly. The um, energy for the future is Knight of Pentacles, uh, the ability to really move forward and very slowly. It's Virgo energy. It's being very practical. It's having a practical plan for life and golly, golly gosh, <laughs> it is Virgo energy, but Capricorn, it is all about being methodical and you love that. You reward hard work. So it does show that you and your person put things in. Queen of Swords being very clear about what you need, what you want. The Queen of Swords is a ruler. Um, it's Libra energy of the seventh house of legal contracts of marriage. So when we see the Queen of Swords, we know that this is a person. You are coming into this energy in the future of making sure that your life is happy and that it's what you want it to be. Ace of Wands, a new passionate beginning. What could be more beautiful than the corners here? Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Taking action to plant seeds and moving forward in a methodical way using, a, you know, really good judgment. So let's see. Capricorn. Okay, so we're going to look at the Moonology deck because I always like to get the overall theme of what, we're, what you're dealing with in a particular reading. So let's look and see what the overall Moonology theme is for this reading. The messages from Spirit. Let's see what we have here. We have emotions are running high. Okay, so that's really nice. I like that. Emotions, passion, joyfulness. I mean, the emotions that I'm seeing are really happy. Okay, so let's pull one more Moonology. Conclusions are within reach. Okay, so the conclusions, as we look at the short term, are quite good. It's to move forward. So let's take a look and see what the clarifiers are. Okay, so Capricorn, I'm loving this reading for you. Love it. Okay. So why are the ace why is the ace of pentacles here? What are you investing in at this time? Why is it here? The Knight of Pentacles. I have had so many repeats this week. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. You are investing long term in building something of great substance. Virgo energy is powerful. Venus is in Virgo. It's a wonderful time to be um, basically uh, the architect, quote unquote, the workhorse of your happiness. That is really beautiful, willing to do the work, be going about it very methodically with a very smart plan. The star card, oh my God. So to get to the star, the tower has to come down. You are reconciling and you are coming together with somebody who may have a lot of status. It could be you. But the star card, the meaning of it is after healing, hopes and dreams for love come true. It's a spiritual love. It's very satisfying. It's Aquarius energy. It's very enlightened. It is what we all aspire to. It's the highest 
form of all the love cards that we have in the tarot deck. Why is the strength card here? The judgment card, okay. So you are really, really making a decision. Judgment is about a judgment call, making a decision, releasing things from the past, building good karma, you know, it's all about really balancing things out. Pluto energy, you know, it's very scorpionic. So we're seeing a dramatic change in your life that's literally changing the foundation of your life. So what do you say? Well, Donna, what does that mean? Well, the foundation of your life where you're at today might be, um, you might move. You might decide to suddenly move out of an area. Six of Wands shows victory. Page of Swords. Okay. Okay. So the Page of Swords is clarifying the Tower card. So the Page of Swords is all about researching and, you know, discovering information and going online. And so what is it that you're going to discover that's causing a Tower moment? What is a big surprise <laughs> that, is, that is coming into this reading? The Eight of Pentacles. So you're learning about your person. It looks as though some of you are, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Capricorn, before they invest in a person, would do like a people search. That's what I'm thinking. So for some of you with the Page of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles, you want to know everything that you can know to be sure that you can build a foundation with this person. Research is what I'm seeing. Getting to know them. Really making sure of what you're getting. The World card. Okay. And the King of Wands. Beautiful energy. Capricorn. Okay, so the way I'm reading the, the clarification for the tower is that you are getting to know somebody, you are doing research on a king of wands, maybe a fire sign, maybe a Leo, uh, because they're going through a big change in their life. They're going through maybe a divorce or a lot of upheaval. But what we're seeing is that you want a victory and you want marriage with this person, most likely. The two of you are talking about it. The world card is a very successful, happy, joyful, accomplished ending and starting a new cycle. So we see the Six of Wands energy. Why is it here? So we get the Ten of Swords. So you're feeling as though you're not getting the victory you want, that there is some sort of... Ten of Swords is typically Ten Swords in the back. It's a betrayal. A betrayal when you are feeling... Okay, when you are feeling quite happy. So let's see what that's about. The Hierophant card. Okay. So what I'm getting here for most of you is that you've started dating somebody. You're starting to build a future with somebody who did not disclose fully that they are in the process of ending a marriage, okay? They didn't disclose it. Uh, that's where the tower is coming in. That's where the betrayal is coming in. It's marriage that caused the betrayal. Uh, and here you are, you know, what you found out online is that this person, I wouldn't say that this is the kind, I th feel as though your person probably disclosed to you that, that they were getting a divorce. And that's why you built all of this. But the judgment card is judgment of divorce. It's a final dissolution of marriage. The strength card is about having, and temperance is about having the patience to wait for that and being invested. But what I'm getting here is that you do not, you know, you're finding out that your person didn't really fully disclose that, you know, it's not as far along. They may have told you that it was complete, completed, and you may find out that it is not in the final stage of dissolution, okay? That they're still technically married to the person. And it is a victory for you, though. So why is this a victory for our CAPS strength card? Okay. So you do know that they're getting, you know, they're filed. They filed. You do verify that. The strength card does require patience, and we see that until the judgment of divorce is final. Okay. So why are the four? Why is, is the four of wands here? The death card. So the death of a marriage. Okay, judgment card is Scorpio. Death card is Scorpio. So now some of you, this may be you getting a divorce, but you know, take it as it resonates. Remember, it's a general reading. What doesn't apply to you isn't yours in a general reading. It's like a buffet table. All right the hanged man. So you're waiting around for this person to have the final dissolution of marriage, to have the death card, 
you're going to be very patient with this because we have temperance you're hanging out looking at things from a different perspective the page of pentacles though says that you are in it to win it that you know you are invested you're going to keep that investment alive you're being very discerning though the queen of swords is keeping a lookout for the future so you're taking care of yourself i like it so why do we have Virgo energy here twice? Why is this King of Pentacles here twice for you? We have the Five of Cups. Okay, so right now you feel as though your practical plan has been dashed. You know, that this person has really upset the apple card. That, you know, you aren't as far along as you thought you were. Tell us something more about Virgo. The Six of Coins, though, that's good energy. So you do believe that this person is invested. You know, that's what we're seeing, that this person is invested. They do want equal give and take. And the Knight of Swords energy is all about truth-telling. So what is the truth that's being told at this time by the circumstance? Page of Wands, throw caution to the winds. So it does also indicate that there may be a divorce that's going on with pages. Uh, children may be involved and it could be really taking a turn for the, you know, taking a long time to get this because of children. We have, okay, so now we have the Five of Swords energy. So it does look like your person is going through something that's very brutal, a very brutal divorce, a very brutal ending, and that is why you're being so patient here. And you do have fire in your belly with that strength card to have this relationship, to get your victory, the strength card. Why is the Queen of Swords here, my friends? Capricorn, why is the Queen of Swords here? The Nine of Wands, you have fire in your belly, but you are keeping a lookout. You know, you're going to base decisions based, you know, you're going to make your final decision based on fact. Right now, you're comfortable with everything, even though it's it does feel, it's unsettling. The Tower moment is to know that this isn't as far along as you thought. Okay, so you're not moving as quickly as you thought you were which is why I feel that you you don't like it. You you feel betrayed because your person wasn't clear. Queen of Pentacles, you're moving. Oh, this is beautiful. Capricorn, that's you. That's you. That's you. You're going from Queen of Swords energy, you know, the old, you know, out of here, you know, you're banished to the Queen of Pentacles. So you are investing in this. The more you get to know, the more invested. The Chariot card, you're moving forward very rapidly into your future with this person. Beautiful. So even though there's been a delay, you are in it to win it. And, you know, you are emotional, but you are finding out. Ace of Wands. Oh, my God. Uh, so we have the Chariot card, Cancerian Energy, moving forward rapidly. Honey, I'm home. Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands energy. So you are really in your glory in this passion. The Sun card, the happiest card in the deck. So you're going to get your wish fulfillment. Oh my God. That is absolutely stunning energy. So I do get also that you're just going to wait quietly. You're not going to let anything really get to you. You're going to ignore the fact because you know what the truth is. Ace of Swords, you have three aces here. Beautiful energy for you. Let's see what the Shaman's Dream Oracle has for advice for this beautiful love reading. Oh, it's always so tough when people go through this. Okay, so the Shaman's Dream Oracle advice for Capricorn. What is the advice for Capricorn at this time? I'm feeling this one. Watchers, transpersonal. Well, that's the Queen of Swords energy you're watching. She literally has a telescope or a, you know, whatever that is, uh, looking into the future, watching very carefully, being very discerning about what you're investing in. Brilliant. We have dances on one foot. It is a balancing act for temperance. So, you know, it does require calm. It does require discipline. It requires optimism. And so you may feel like you're dancing on one foot, but it is absolutely a beautiful balancing act that you're creating. Benefactor, grace and generosity. Bring in this new opportunity because you're giving, you're loving, you're supportive, and you are helping your person rebuild their foundation with you. Oh my gosh. Capricorn, it's been delightful being here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Bye-bye.